in here once again we just might possibly could very 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 well have another one of the elites getting some well just desserts getting what they deserve for being well an absolutely horrible person or it could just be a giant misunderstanding right i mean Federal agencies don't just go raid a famous person's house or houses just because. I mean, come on, right? That just doesn't happen. So, Sean Diddy Combs, California and Florida homes raided by law enforcement. What this title is putting out, not uh, actually putting in there, is the fact that they were raided at the same time. They were simultaneous raids. They don't do that. Unless you did something very bad. See here. The Department of Homeland Security Investigations New York confirmed it had executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation. These are the ones who investigate over international lines. So you had to have done something horrible for this to happen. The agency said it acted with assistance from HSI Los Angeles and HSI Miami and local law enforcement. We will provide further information as it becomes available, the law enforcement department told CNN. It also says here in November 2023, Combs settled a suit brought by his former girlfriend, Singer. Cassandra Cassie Ventura, I'm sorry, I've never heard of her, who alleged she was raped and subjugated to years of repeated physical abuse and other abuses by Combs. So, verbal abuse, I'm assuming. From his lawyer, says a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is no way an admission of wrongdoing. No, it's not, but it certainly doesn't help your public image, now does it? Ben Brafman, an attorney for Combs, told CNN in the statement at the time, Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way determine his flat-out denial of the claims. He's happy. They got to a mutual settlement and wishes, wishes Miss Ventura the best. As in here, I'm going to pay you some money. Here's a piece of paper and sign it. By the way, this piece of paper says you can never talk about this ever again. You can't go on news. You can't go to your friends. You can never talk about this ever again or I'm going to sue you into oblivion. Normally, that's what those pieces of paper say anyway. And apparently some of the allegations, as far as I've been able to find, are sex trafficking. Yes, he's accused of sex trafficking across international lines. Did he do it? I don't know. Would it surprise me? Fuck no. It wouldn't surprise me at all if P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddly Doodler here was sex trafficking people over international lines. Not in any way, shape, or form. And if that tends to be the case, I hope he gets everything he deserves. And if not, well, oops, I guess. Anyway, have a great day. Bye-bye, toodaloo. Bye-bye.